Hello, we are into another session on rational numbers. We have already finished taking up the additions and subtraction, the properties of uh, addition subtractions of rational numbers here in uh, also, we discussed about multiplications properties. Now, we'll take on questions based on multiplications as well as division. And the division, though there is a, there are not many, you know, properties to discuss much, uh, still, uh, I can just write about the first property which we <coughs> come across is, it says if there are two rational numbers like A, A by B and C by D, then if you divide a by b by divide by c by d then it's always a rational number whatever you get here this will always a rational number that's a closer property and then it says if you divide any rational number that's i'm assuming to be a by b divided by one you get the same rational number on the other hand, if you are dividing a by b divided by minus 1, then you are getting minus a by b. Supposedly, that means a divided by b, sorry, a by b divided by a by b will give you a 1, and a by b divided by minus a by b will give you a minus 1. Let's move on to take up questions on multiplication and division. I clear it up and divide the whole screen. I take the first question. So the first one it says or it is given x is suppose minus 7 by 3 y is given to us as 12 upon 5 Z as 4 by 9. Then we are asked to verify the property. It says X. I'll just write it this as multiplied to Y multiplied to Z. This should be y here. This is equal to this is this from the properties of you know the multiplication of rational number. So we'll put up or substitute only the values x was given as 7 by 3 multiplied to y is 12 upon 5 into z is 4 upon 9 is equal to minus 7 by 3 into 12 by 5 multiplied to z is 4 by 9. Now let minus 7 by 3 as it is. If I solve the 1 within the bracket, I am getting 48 upon 45. And on the other hand, 84 upon 15. Because that was 12 and 7 was 84. Thereby multiplying 4 by 9. As I don't have space, I'll just continue here. Like on the left hand side, this is getting cancelled. This is 16. So I think it is 112 by 45. And on the other hand, here if I can see, this is getting cancelled by 3. This is 5. Even in the numerator, you get minus 1112 by 5 minus 45. So we have proved whatever we were supposed to. Let's move on to take up more questions. Okay. 
it says find the reciprocal of find the reciprocal of minus 3 by 8 multiply 2 minus 7 by 3 now if you multiply 3 minus 3 by 8 and minus 7 by 3 that gives us a plus and thereby 3 into 7 is 21 upon 24 or you could have cancelled it here I could have cancelled it there sorry so I'm getting it as minus 7 by 8 or I can write the reciprocal is 8 upon minus 7 oh no there will be no uh, negatives uh, anymore because there are uh, two negatives that makes it a positive so this was one of the simplest of them now the question reads as The product of two rational numbers is minus twenty eight by eighty one. If one of the number is fourteen by twenty one sorry 14 by 27 find the other we did this previously in multiplayer addition and subtraction it says there are two rational numbers right so the product of these two is given as 28 upon 81 one of them it says is 14 by 27 we assume the other one to be x and then proceed so we can find the other number that we have assumed x as minus 28 by 81 divided by 14 upon 21 so if we are doing this kind of fraction division we will reciprocate the one here so that makes it 27 by 4 so this is 4 to 7 is 28 the 9 3 is 27 9 9 so it is 3 so my answer becomes Did I make anything, leaving anything there? I'll do this part again. I think I missed something. We can always check if the answer is right or not. You know, by substituting the x here and see if you multiply these two, if you're getting it or not. And I was not getting that. So it's minus 28 by 81 multiplied by 27 by 14 see 14 into 2 is 28 and 9 3 9 9 3 so I'm getting minus 2 upon 3 for the other number whose, which will be uh, multiplied by 14 by 27 gives us 20, minus 28 by 81. Let's move on. In a similar one, the formation and can be a, a, no, a differently be done. So I write by, wait, by what number should we multiply 3 by minus 14 so that the product may be 5 by 12. Let's again write it as we did in the previous 
question that always helps I think I missed writing here something and yes I just here when you multiply 2 3 uh, multiply 3 over minus 14 this is 3 by minus 14 what should I multiply it with I'll multiply x to it I'm assuming that number that gives us 5 upon 12 so this will be actually similar to the previous question uh, except for the part that the formation of the question is different framing of the sentence is uh, you know, done differently so I hope you can solve you can solve x by dividing 5 by 12 by 3 by minus 14 I leave this to you to solve and I give you the answer just to confirm yourself about doing it rightly that is minus 35 by 18 I now proceed to division it says divide a couple of them will do it. 3 minus 3 by 4 by minus 6 so it's minus 3 by 4 divided by minus 6 can be written as 3 by 4 into 1 by 6 that giving this cancellation they were making it minus 1 upon 8 and this is pretty simple on it I mean this is how you divide um, any given uh, rational number apart from that we now will be taking up representation of rational numbers on the number line I take up it sorry I take it up in the next screen we get enough space here now suppose we have to represent a take up question so that directly we can make ourselves understand about how do we represent and let me make our number line here this is our zero it says represent 5 by 3 and minus 5 by 3 in order to represent this 5 by 3 and minus 5 by 3 we have first drawn this number line and I have marked an O this O is actually representing our 0 this is 0 now we have to find by point these two points that I let me make mark them as P I'm marking this and Q we'll be now finding out P and Q first as 5 suppose this is 5 because we have the numerator that is 5 here and the numerator on this side will be minus 5 now this 0 to 5 and 0 to minus 5 is actually divided into three parts so I'll equally divide between the 0 to 5 and 0 to minus 5 into three equal parts this is 1 2 3 on the end 1 2 and 3 so this is 5 and this is the first part 5 by 3 on the other hand this becomes the first part this is minus 5 by 3 why because we have divided these two points like suppose this is p this is uh, this is x and y i can take maybe now these points we have taken x and y and that has to be divided in three equal parts. So like if I mark them as a, b here. Now o, a, a, b, b, x, they will all be equal. Right? Now if I have to represent, suppose I take up another question, another example. If I suppose I have to represent 8 by 5 and minus 8 by 5 so I draw a number line we have to draw plus 8 minus 8 in both sides and that suppose I take this as plus 8 and I take this as minus 8 and this is our 0 now this 
this 0 to 8 and 0 to minus 8 my distance doesn't look similar same though on both sides equal distances have to be at least maintained that now has to be divided into five parts on both sides see <coughs> 1 2 3 4 5 so 1 2 3 4 and 5 this becomes 8 by 5 and this becomes minus 8 by 5 okay this is actually 8 by 8, eight and this is actually 8 and this is actually minus 8 now any more questions we can take up in later uh, you know some some other session but the next one will be rational numbers between two given rational numbers. I hope you followed this representation of rational number on the number line. Thank you.